Hello everyone, welcome Messiah Lambs, families and students. I hope that you're having a great day and a great last week of school. It's hard to believe, but on Friday you guys will start summer and so will these awesome guys. I brought Aaron and Elizabeth for my, being my helpers today and they're gonna help us start off chapel by singing the song that we always sing, which is We Are In God's House Today. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. We are in God's house today. He is glad to hear us pray. Let us listen, let us sing. Glad we make his praises ring. We are in God's house today. He is glad to hear us pray. Let us listen to his word. Glad we begin chapel today in the name of God the Father, and in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, Messiah Lambs students and families. I hope that your week's going well. Uh, I wanted to start off today in our chapel time by reading you uh, to you a verse from Deuteronomy. This is chapter 8. And it's verse 2. It says, And you shall remember the whole way that the Lord your God has led you these 40 years in the wilderness. All right. So today, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the Israelites. Now, the Israelites were God's people. And what's amazing is that God sent a guy named Moses and his brother Aaron into Egypt. And he used them to free his people out of Egypt. And when they were able to leave Egypt, they had to, to pack a bag. They had to get things ready to go on their journey. So um, my son Aaron was really kind, and he helped me pack a bag. So if I were going on a journey or on a trip, I asked him to pack me some things that he thinks that I would need for that journey. Now, I don't know what's in the bag. But you and I are going to find out by looking at it now. So, here we go. So, first thing, Aaron packed me a cell phone. Wow, this is perfect. I'll definitely need a cell phone to be able to talk with my family. And if I ever get in trouble, I can use this to uh, text them or call them if I need to do that. That's great. That's good. Awesome. Let's see, what else did they pack me? What is this? Oh, a pair of socks, and not just any kind of socks. These are really comfy socks and warm socks that I would need for night if it gets too cold. This is good, this is really good. And it looks like he also packed me a shirt. It's good to have a night shirt. Uh, that's a great thing, awesome. Let's see what else. Oh, yes, pajama pants. These are really comfy pajama pants. I love these pajama pants because they keep me really warm at night and they feel really good. And a pair of sunglasses. These are really cool sunglasses. I like these a lot. Um, these will be great if it gets too sunny outside. This is good. Oh, and I definitely need an ambulance. So in case I ever were to, to get sick or hurt, this is a great thing to have. Um, I could definitely use this. This is great. <laughs> ah, this is awesome. So this is a book that I use for my kids. This is called Portals of Prayer. And I use this every night for a devotion time with my kids. And this is a really neat thing to have. Um, so this is a great, great thing to pack. Let's see, what else is in here? What did my son pack? Let It Shine. Here's a book called Let It Shine, and looks like it's by Ashley Bryan. Three favorite spirituals, a good read to have. Um, yeah, this is great. I'll be able to, to have something to read when I travel. Oh, and it looks like uh, a little truck here. I could use this too if I ever get bored or if I ever uh, wanna have something to play with. This is a great thing, a great thing to have. And then a pineapple. This is great. If I ever get hungry or need something to eat, um, I could use this 
on my journey. Now I tell you guys all this and I show you all these wonderful things because just like the Israelites had to pack up their things and go, sometimes we go on journeys and trips and we have to pack up things. And you know what's amazing though is that no matter where your summer, what your summer looks like this time, uh, or what you're going to be doing, where you're going to be going, if you can go anywhere, but no matter what's going on in your life, I want you to remember that God is with you just as he was with the Israelites. And they wandered for 40 years in the wilderness, in the desert. And so just like they wandered, remember that God was with them and he is with you. So as you start your summer, as you begin whatever your summer is gonna look like, I hope and pray that you remember that God is always with you and he loves you. And he sent his son Jesus to die for you and rise from the dead for you. That's how much he loves you. I hope and pray that you guys have a great summer and that you guys enjoy it and have a great rest of your day and week. God bless you.